insights into working with us crazy gringos. It's very interesting because uh, everybody has different ideas right. about the project. The idea is to use uh, natural materials. It could be science for four hundred fifty dollars for mm -hmm. square meter. Mm -hmm. We have a warranty for for the elements in the house. We're working with people from other countries, um, they are everything clear. I think in this moment, uh, the media, the, the international news uh, are, are showing uh, a face of Ecuador very, very bad. The, um, the people who is inside the uh, operation uh, was working inside to do bad things, no? They are, they are, uh, the government right now uh, are doing some things better. Ecuador is, is, a, is a country uh, which always uh, has present the human rights. Hello and welcome back. Jesse Bayer, pleased to be joined today by Santiago Aguirre of AB Constructores. Um, Santiago is a native Lojano. He's actually an engineer by trade. He forms part of a husband and wife team with his wife, Marta, who is an architect. So they have sort of the engineer architect aspect of construction covered. Um, we've been working with Santiago for several years. He, he and his wife create, uh, or I should just say, Abe Constructores are really, you know, we consider to be some of the best builders in this area. Um, we've had a lot of great experiences with Santiago. So we wanted to bring him on the channel and chat a little bit today about his experiences, of course, uh, in the area as a Lojano, obviously talk a little bit construction, share some insights on, on uh, Vilcabamba and uh, some insights into working with us crazy gringos um, here, in the, here in the Vilcabamba area and uh, just chat with Santiago. So thanks for tuning in. If you do enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell, there is a little bit of an echo here. We're at Santiago's office, um, which is just off the center square here in Vilcabamba. So if you're looking for Santiago here in town, um, you can swing by the center square. You'll find his office here. Um, I don't even know how to describe this. On the This would be like the east side of the park. Uh, east? West. West. West side of the park. Um, so anyways, without further ado, I uh, very much appreciate you taking the time. Thanks for being here. And um, let's jump right into it. So, yeah, so talk a little bit just kind of, you know, where you grew up and your young life and just, you know, what was that like kind of growing up here in, here in the region, I believe, correct? Yes. Um, thank you, Jesse, for this interview. Um, I am so happy that you stay here in, you stay here in our office. Uh, like I told you, I, I am your fan in your channel. I always I am checking your 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 updates in, in, in the YouTube channel. Um, you have a, a good channel. You you give me a good information, and so I am so happy that uh, we we have this interview. Um, yes, um, my name is Santiago Aguirre. I, um, I am a civil engineer. I work in, with with my wife in Marta in the development of projects. Um, I, I decided to, stu to, stu to study civil engineer uh, because uh, always uh, I, I like it to, to work with, with the materials and, and, and when I was young always uh, I was drawing. I like everything about plants. And so I decided to, to study civil engineer. I like the, the mathematics too. Uh, I like the, to do calculus. So I decided to, to, to study in, uh, in Quito because um, I was living in Quito for um, maybe 20 years. Uh, I, I was living in, near to the university. So in, in that time, I, um, it was possible for, for me to enter to the National Polytechnic School. Um, uh, that is a, a public university. Um, with the with the high level, so um, I, I decided to to, to study it, it there. Um, I I get my, my my degree maybe I think around is 2012 
do you think maybe? And I'm sorry to interrupt you. Is that um, is that like a master's degree in engineering, or how does, or is that college, or what are you referring to? No, um, I get my um, civil engineer degree. Mm -hmm. I, I I haven't studied a, a master degree. Maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. um, in this moment, with my knowledge, it's, it's possible to do all my work. Sure, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, I think we need more time to, to dedicate to, to, to get more studies. Um, uh, we, 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 with Marta, we have two, two kids. Uh, they are very young, so um, they need um, a lot of time. That can be time <laughs> consuming, yes. I guess. <laughs> yes. Um, so I, I, I started um, uh, working in, in structural design. Always I, I did a structural design in the office because I, I use a, a software. Um, my work uh, always uh, was to do uh, structural plans, structural design. Uh, um, the, the idea was to to do a, a, a perfect work in, in that area. Because civil engineer is, um, is a, 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 a great career with, with some arms, for example, hydraulic system, uh, waste, roads, and, and septic systems, and water, public net, nets, for example. It's, mm -hmm. it's very, very, very things that we, that we can do with, with a degree in, in civil engineer. But in my case, I, I was uh, I, I, I was always um, working with a st structural design. When when I get my degree, my, my degree uh, I, I I was working with, with some engineers, my teachers, um, helping them with the drawing the plans and some calculus. Um, but um, maybe. Eight, eight years ago, I, I meet with my with Marta, my my wife. Um, we got we got married. Uh, we we decided to to separate the old works, and the idea was to try to work together in the development of our projects. Because she was working with a, with a, with with other office and architects, mm -hmm. but the idea was to to join the, the knowledge and um, work together um, because it's, um, it's a good team, architect and engineer. Yeah. Uh, we don't fight because I do always that she say. <laughs> 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 so everybody is happy. No, no problem. <laughs> um, and this is normal because the, all, the architect is, is the boss. In, in this area of uh, civil engineer, mm -hmm. because the architect um, does the, the project, the configuration, the spaces, and the civil engineer, the work of civil engineer is to develop the structure, how to, how to transform the, the virtual plans to the reality. Um, behind that, um, there is a, a design, a structural design. Uh, for example, here in Ecuador, it's very important uh, the structural design because we are in a um, seismic area, we are near to the um, in, in the place where the where the plates of uh, ocean plate and continental plate always are, are joined, mm -hmm. and sometimes we, here we have some earthquakes. More in the coast region, we are in the Andes, but uh, all the rules in 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 our country, all the standards that we use. Uh, comes from United States. Okay. All the rules that civil engineers use here in Ecuador comes from um, ACI, ACI is the name of mm. the rule in United States. Mm -hmm. um, we take everything about that rules for earthquakes because uh, we know that United States um, has the same problem in, in the West Coast, in right. California. So United States uh, have the development um, a, a big knowledge about uh, design for earthquakes against earthquakes. Yeah. So this is the this is the the, the idea, no? To always to do a, a good design, um, optimize is, mm -hmm. is, the, is the principle. Um, 
we are we are working here in in Vilcabamba, maybe for five or six, six years ago with with some projects. Mm -hmm. But it's very interesting because here um, the the houses and the projects here in Vilcabamba always are different different systems. Um, the, the people like um, natural systems with um, no no standard process. For example, the people here uh, uh, used to want to build with um, earth walls on tapia or bareque mm -hmm. or, or steel or block bricks. We have several kinds of of, um, of construction systems. Um, we, we decided to, to move here. We are living right now in Malacatos, next to, to Vilcabamba, maybe uh, 20 minutes. Uh, we decided to come here um, to, be more to be more near to the projects, to stay near. Um, I think the, the, the second reason uh, was uh, healthy. Yeah. Because uh, we, we, we had two, two, two childs, two kids, uh, five years old and three years old. Um, we decided to come here because they are always in, in Loja is uh, just a little cold. Yeah. The, um, we, we, we were always going to the doctor because um, our kids were with influenza and some um, Allergies, allergies, yeah. allergies. Mm -hmm. uh, but since we are living here, everything is tough. They are oh, really? very nice. They are growing very fast and happy. Mm -hmm. Here, we, here we have more space and all the natural. We we, we used to go to the river with with the dog. We, yeah. I, I used to go to to run in the morning. Uh, we have a, um, a lot. A lot uh, Several roads and spaces to to, go, to to live with the family, mm -hmm. so we are very 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 happy here. Um, we are near to the projects and we are near to the people, and we can speak and and present and show our, our, our work to the to the community here in Vilcabamba. Yeah, no, I mean you guys do great work. I'm really a really a fan too of Marta's designs. I think she does a great job on the on the design side. And one of the things I really like about the way you guys work is you're very systematized. You know, you guys um, have systems for all everything you do, and it's it's not haphazard. You know, it's not um, it's very organized. It's very systematized. What you see is what you get. The quotes are real. The timelines are real, um, which is not always the case in construction anywhere in the world, and certainly not here. Um, so no, you. you know, that's that's really a nice thing. Um, did you? And it's interesting too what you say about you know sort of the lifestyle and health. You know, yeah, I, I when I moved here in 2013 and I lived in sort of Vilcabamba, Taxiche area for like six to nine months, and then I lived in Loja for I don't know about five years or six years or something. And when we left the city and moved also to Malacatos at the time, it was such a relief. You know, I mean, I love Loja. I think it's a great city, and for people who like cities, I think it's a great you know great place to live. But yeah, the weather here and just sort of the lifestyle it affords, yeah, is something I really enjoy as well. Um, did you grow up in Loja? Yes, yes, I, I, I was born in Loja. Yeah. I am 40 years old right now. Um, I, 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 I grew up in, in Loja. When I was a teenager, maybe when I was a, 17 years old, I moved to Quito. 17, okay. 17. So, and you were, when you, in Loja, you were in the city? Yes. Yeah, okay. In the city. So, you finished high school in Loja? Yes. And then went to university yes. in Quito? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, that, that was the, 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 the idea. I, I had a sister who was studying in, in Quito in the same university, so mm -hmm. I, had, uh, I had to move to, to Quito uh, very soon because she she was living uh, she she was living alone and she always uh, was, was was telling me Santiago come come here to study in the same university yeah. stay together it's better uh, yes um, Loja is a, a nice city it's, it's quiet and mountains and um, something interesting in Loja is 
in the, the, the friends. Yeah. Everybody is friend, right. or everybody is family, or know something, uh, or, 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 your, or your neighbor is, is, is maybe your family, and, right. and, and the community is very, is very nice, yes. It's, uh, that, that part of Loja for me was remarkable. Um, you know, back in the States, if you have a town that's, let's say, 30,000 people, which is probably five times or something less than Loja, or even less than that, nobody knows anybody. You know, you don't know, you don't know all the people, not even close. You have your friends and then a few acquaintances, and that's kind of it. Um, I, I remember having this experience in Loja, you know, over and over and over again. Any clients or friends or people I was with in Loja, we would go, let's say, to see a house or to have a meeting or to do whatever we, you know, or, or even just get together as friends. Everybody knows everybody. It's amazing. Like, even if they don't know them all personally, they know them by last name. They know them by, oh, you're such and so's sister or you're such and so's cousin or, oh, my sister went to school with your brother or um, to have a city that, that size, you know, somewhere around 200,000 or 250,000 people that operates like a tiny town, you know, it operates um, is amazing. For, it was amazing for me. Be, and also, you know, sort of the, the camaraderie, like the way people trust each other and kind of go about their business. I mean, people didn't know me at all, uh, you know, at the beginning, or, or I would go in, you know, I had experiences many where I would go into a store, if I didn't have the right money, or I, I didn't have, oh, just come back, you know, just come back. And uh, they've never seen me before in their life, you know, that this would, <laughs> this would never happen in, in other, you know, where I'm from, right. Um, so yeah, it's really a unique and sort of, I think, a great culture in that kind of way. So, okay, so you grew up in Loja, university in Quito, and then is, is Marta from Loja as well? Yes, Marta is from Loja, but, um, but we, we, we met in Quito because I was okay. living in Quito when, when we get... Um, was she at your school or how did you guys meet? No, Marta, Marta was working in... Um, in a big project in Loja, the, the new theater, maybe, you know, in... in Benjamin in Carino? Front, oh. In the new the theater? In, yeah. The, in it, front of Hipiro Park? Yeah, maybe. is that Benjamin Carino or is it a different... What's the name of that theater? I forget. It's but yes, in, I know what you're talking about. It's uh, Benjamin Carino. Benjamin Carino, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That project uh, was, a, was, a, was a, a big project in Loja. Uh, Marta was working in the team. Yeah, so that was, life. sorry to interrupt you, so that was, I watch, I remember when they started that, I was here, so that must have been, what, six, seven, eight years ago, nine years ago, how long ago was Could that? Could be, yes, yes. Okay. Maybe, maybe nine, when, when the project uh, started. Okay. Um, Marta was in the, in the design team of, uh, of the new theater in, in Loja, and she was moving, Quito, Loja, Quito, Loja. Okay. Um, I, I, I meet with, with her in Quito, in San Marcos. We were working in the same place. Maybe we, we had the same uh, circle friends. Uh, we meet in, in Quito. Um, we we got married here in in, in Loja. Um, we we went to Quito to live. Okay. My my, my idea was to, to to start the the married life in, in Quito, but uh, Marta decided to come back because. Um, she's very close to uh, her family, so she 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 told me, no, I, I feel a little alone here. <laughs> Maybe I want to come back, and we we were talking about that, and we decided to come back to to, to Loja and get a good life here. Yes, it's a it's a very common story. Lojanos come back to Loja. It's really, you, you, you find that all the time. Yes, uh, in Loja the people is, um, is very joined with the, with the family. Yeah. The family is, is, is very important. Um, and, and the friends. Uh, if, you is, if, if you talk with a, with a guy with, in your 60s or 70s, um, now we, 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 we know some people, we have friends and as you but they, in the past, they are more close. Yeah. 
for example, my fathers, my mothers, they know all the people around the, in, 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 the, in the neighborhood and in, in, in everything. So, my being, I think the, the, new, the new generations um, are, are growing, but uh, they are not the same, always. They are more, more close uh, for other things, no? Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, and it's it's a, it's grown a lot as well. I mean, it must be Loja must be a lot bigger now than it was when you when you were yes, growing up. Yes. Yeah. What are what, so some of that um, some of those differences? So, yeah, it's the city's growing, the area's growing. You know, you've got sort of the influence of you know television and American culture or other cultures. Yes. And so you start to see some of those changes, but what, what are some of the you know, differences kind of from the time when you were growing up uh, in Loja versus now? Yes, um, I think the, the kind of play, because I remember with, with, with my friends, uh, we used to go to the, to the river and with the bicycles in the, in the principal roads, in high speed, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> because uh, um, there wasn't a, a lot of cars like right, like now. So I remember um, we we used to go to the Hipiro Park in, in very fast. Um, the adrenaline very very high. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, and today I think it's, it's almost different. Yeah. Um, because uh, I think the. Our generations uh, take more care for our kids <laughs> right, because right. Uh, I remember when I was a, a kid or, or to cross the street, to cross the street, you know, nothing not, not happened. But now if your kid crosses the street, you are not take care, you know, check, check the cars and right. do direction. <laughs> right. Because the city is, is, is growing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in Loja, the, the traffic jam is is uh, we, we have traffic jam right now, right? Yeah. But in, in my in my time when 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 I was a junior, no, um, I used to play football in the street, in the street for several hours, and sometimes when when a car is going to pass, no, every everybody has to uh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Take the ball, pass, pass the car, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and continuously playing. And you and and that. Uh, what neighborhood was that? If you don't mind. I I, I grew up in Loja in it's, um, Los Molinos. Is in yeah. the, Los Molinos. Yeah. It's, it's near to the supermarket. The supermarket. Right. So not yeah. So not you know the center of the city, but not outside the city either. I mean that's definitely the city, mm -hmm. uh, or at least now. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, even even when I was living in Loja, especially at the beginning, like for 2013, 14, 15, there was really no traffic problems, uh, and there is a little bit now. Yes. Um, parking was a lot easier. Uh, there was less people, less less commotion, less speed, less cars. Um, the mountains in Loja, sort of the mountains around the valley, were really not developed in 2013-14, um, they started right then. It was like 2014-15, you started to see those neighborhoods popping up, like up you know, above La Tecnica or, or on the other side as well. Um, and then of course, the, the development out north has increased a ton. And then also south now in some of those areas, you know, towards, Pot towards Potocarpus are, are starting to become city where even five years ago, that was rural still, kind of. Um, so it's certainly growing. Okay. Um, so you guys, so you and Marta started to, when did you guys decide to uh, sort of quit your careers in the sense of working for other people and start your own, your own company? Mm, yes. Um, the idea was uh, to do... Um, Entire project. We have because we have the the knowledge. We have the information to do that. And some um, another important part of the project is the process to get the permit, for example. And because we 
we are able to to see in the papers and to all the the tramits in the municipio, for example, mm -hmm. permissions and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 we decided to work together because the idea was to to do um, outward in and and to a, a management of the things in in out for uh, an office in. Um, the idea was was to to do um, to show a, a good service, no? Uh, maybe maybe we we decided to do that uh, because um, Marta was working in the public service uh, always. Um, in my case, for example, uh, I always were, I was working in. Uh, in Private, 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 yeah. Private so, sorry, just to clarify. So, Martha was working on sort of like government projects yes. or contracts, and you were in private. You were working for private. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. The idea was to to avoid everything that um, focus in work together, mm -hmm. uh, business family. And what year? When did you guys start that? When did you guys start doing that? We did the first project in two thousand sixteen. Okay. We we did a construction in Bialacatos, the, the first the first house that we, we did together mm -hmm. with development everything in that project. Uh, and then we we did uh, some projects in Quinara, in Malacatos, in Tatsiche, here in Vilcabamba, in San Joaquin. Now we, we have two or three projects in, in line. In process right now mm -hmm. uh, for clients uh, from United States, for Canada, um, New Zealand. We are we are building a project for a for a guy from from New, New, New Zealand. Um, it's very interesting because uh, everybody have different ideas right. about the project, mm -hmm. uh, the the process and and the materials. It, it's very interesting. The idea is to, to do a, a good work to, to adapt for um, and, and maintain the, the good quality in uh, whatever system that we use because it's possible. Yeah. No, and I know you guys work with a lot of, and you mentioned some of them already, but you guys work with a lot of different materials, you know, that I think are interesting to people. Um, you know, I know you guys do a lot of work with Adobe. You do a lot of work with Tapia, which is rammed earth. That's a little bit of a lost skill. Um, some people still, especially in the indigenous communities, they, a lot of people still have that skill, but it's not common anymore in Ecuador. And I know, you know, you guys are kind of experts in that. Um, talk a little bit about the different building material options and how much does that affect price? Yeah, I think uh, there is a big range because everything depends about the owner, about the owner wants. Uh, sometimes depends about the, the property, the terrain, because uh, you know that we are in, in the mountains. Sometimes the, the terrains uh, are not flat. Sometimes we have to do some concrete walls, supporting walls, or something, something like that. Um, but the idea is to use uh, natural materials because the idea here in Vilcabamba is, is, is all is natural mm -hmm. and the environment and the climate here is, is very good, it's very nice. So um, sometimes uh, we use uh, um, tapial walls, earth walls, it's, it's very interesting because for comfort, uh, thermical comfort is very nice inside the house. For the temperature uh, yes. regulation, basically. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the good is, is very nice for comfort, thermical comfort mm -hmm. as well. Um, and bricks and, and blocks. Um, in our experience, maybe the natural process and the natural materials maybe are a little more expensive because um, to build, take more time. Yeah. And you know that uh, if you take more time in construction, uh, it means um, more time for workers, more and more time for handwork. 
and this is um, uh, this is the most important unit in, in construction. Yeah, is, mm, this is about our experience, but everything depends about the the, the owner want, because sometimes we we use a steel. The steel is, um, is, is, is fast, it's fast to build, it's practical. Um, sometimes we use bareke or, or bricks, natural bricks, local bricks, mm -hmm. because the idea is to, to use um, the local providers. The idea is to, to, to work with the, the, the multiple people that we want to in the local area. Yeah, support the local economy, mm -hmm. sure. Yes, mm -hmm. this is, is very important. Um, in, in, in other hand, for example, we, we bring uh, workers from Loja because uh, and sometimes they, they have uh, other kind of skills. Mm -hmm. uh, they, are, uh, they, they are studies or something to, but uh, we always try to, to use uh, the, the local people, the local workers mm -hmm. um, in the community. This is, is important. And the, the owners of the property, they, 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 they like this, this, this kind of work. This, this way of work is because they, they are interested in helping the community to so I'm just, I'm, I pulled up my phone here because I want to look up price per square meter to price per square feet conversion. But I, while I'm doing, I, I want to get in a little bit to cost. So what are, what are typical, and we will use meters, of course, and then I'll try to give people the, the, um, the, the conversion. But what is a typical cost price per square meter for the different sort of levels of construction? Like what's sort of typical, low end, medium, high? Yes, um, I think there is a range. I think could be signs for $450 for mm -hmm. square meter. Mm -hmm. I think is, is enough for, to build a uh, um, typical construction with blocks, uh, concrete uh, columns, and steel rows, for example, mm -hmm. with um, a good finish. But uh, sometimes, uh, if you want to, st to stay near to the lu luxury, for example, maybe the cost could be uh, seven, seven hundred uh, or eight, eight hundred. Okay. For so there. so 450 is sort of basic standard construction yes. up to about 800 which is pretty luxurious relatively luxurious so for the conversion on that for folks out there needing square feet fit square foot um, $450 a square meter is $42 a square foot and then I'll throw in 800 which is seventy four dollars mm -hmm. per square foot. So okay, yeah. and that go ahead. Something, sorry. something is something important to mention here is um, this kind of cost. The 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 global amount of, of the investment is for the house. Is only only the house, mm -hmm. the the structure and everything in the house because uh, we used to uh, separate the external areas. Right. Because um, it depends about the, the, the terrain, the, uh, the, the border, the boundary, everything. Here in Belcabamba and Malacatos, in this area, uh, it's very common that the people have uh, big properties, uh, 1,000 meters, 2,000, 3,000. So, but the idea is to focus in the, in the house to, to get the, the cost for square meters. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, this is. But um, another important thing to say here is um, the quality is always the same. The accessories in for bathroom, toilet, uh, in the, 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 the studies and all. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, the idea is, is always to install the better because it's important to to the things uh, maintain for a long time. We, we, we have a warranty for, for the elements in the house. So uh, I think the, the, the cost change um, because we are able to change the 
construction system. For example, if we use tapia walls, maybe the cost is, 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 is high, but the, um, the finish is, is, is different. It's, it's, it's beautiful because it's natural, it's not, it's not standard. Mm -hmm. But the idea is to maintain good materials, good accessories, but the, the cost change uh, about the system, the construction okay. system. Okay. And that's, yeah, that's where kind of some of that efficiency comes in that I know you guys are really good at. Um, talk a little bit about timelines. Um, so what's, what's a typical start to finish? So, you know, if I'm a, if I want to build, I call you, Hey, I, you know, I've got this piece of land. I'm interested in building a house. Here's my ideas from that conversation to handing me the keys. Assuming, you know, I've got all the money and I'm not making a million changes and all that kind of stuff. Assuming a normal process, what's kind of a typical timeline? Yeah, um, I think it depends about the, about the size of the project. Uh, in our experience, maybe for a typical family, maybe four or five um, members of the family, uh, a house for um, uh, two, 200 square meters, maybe maybe two floors, something. Normal. And so, yeah, so 200 square meters, that's about 2,200 square feet, approximately, mm -hmm. okay. I think could be this, this kind of construction could take about uh, six months. And that, and that includes design and permitting or just the build? No, only construction time. Okay, and then how much time would normally be added for design and permitting? Mm, I think the, the design process is uh, more difficult because uh, we, we, we have to do several meetings with the, with the owners and, and get the ideas. And sometimes in that process, uh, sometimes change in the project. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the, the most important part, um, the part uh, which uh, takes more time. But with a good um, uh, performance between owner and designers, I, uh, I think we, 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 we can get uh, about experience, the permits with everything finished, uh, two months maybe, okay. two months. So, so eight months, not, you know, eight, nine months, something like that is sort of a normal, normal start to finish, it sounds like? Yes, yeah, could be mm -hmm. uh, five, six months, six months to finish everything. Yes, this is, is very, um, but everything uh, depends uh, about the size of, of, the, of the property. Sure. Of the, uh, for example, in, in our experience, um, we, we, have, we, we have built uh, projects, uh, small projects and big projects. Uh, we, are, we are finishing in this moment a project in San Joaquin. We are working on that project uh, almost uh, two, two years because it's a big project, but the owner, uh, he decided to, to, to build in, in phases. Phases, yeah. First, the, the main house, then the, the spa zone, then the garage, and external areas. Mm -hmm. So That's a uh, beautiful house, by the way. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, the, um, we, we are able to adapt to the owner needs, mm -hmm. uh, but this is uh, the time, I, I think, in six months, with a good process, with a, with a standard uh, style construction, it's around six, six months mm -hmm. to finish. What, um, what are some of the differences between working with Lojanos or Nacionales and um, farmers? I think uh, there are a lot of differences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because um, in our experience, um, the people from other countries always they are clear with with their ideas. They know what they want, the size, the dimension, everything. I think the local people um, they are um, they are taking decisions during the process time, and sometimes the the, the project change. Uh, in, in, in the other case, working with people from other countries, um, they are everything clear. 
they know everything, the spaces. Sometimes they, they have a, some paper with a, with a draw, everything. Um, but the, for us, the idea is to do the, the better work for local people and people from other countries. It's, it's, it's the same, sure. It's the same. But the process is a little, yeah. little different. Yeah. But it's very interesting because um, we, 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 did a, we did a house in, in, in the middle of the mountains um, for a guy from, from, from Russia. Um, the, the concept was di different, the system different, and the process. Um, it's very interesting, but there are uh, the differences. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as someone obviously from, from Loja, you said you mentioned you're 40 years old, I'm 41, so we're about the same age, um, who, you know, who spent most of their life here outside of some time in Quito, but that's still, still Ecuador. What are your thoughts currently um, I, on sort of safety, um, you know, crime and safety, uh, and also politics and kind of, you know, where's the country at in, uh, um, as it relates to those topics? And how do you feel about the future? Yes, um, it's a good question because we, we were talking with some clients about the, the, the security here in Ecuador because I think in this moment uh, the media, the, the international news uh, are, are showing uh, a face of Ecuador very, very bad. Yeah. Um, in some part it's, it's true because uh, Ecuador is a big country but we have uh, limits um, very, very, um, you can see the limits because we have a cold region, we have the Andes region and the Amazon region mm -hmm. and the Galapagos is the insular region. But between regions, um, there are differences and the people are different in the coast, in the Andes region, in the Amazon region. We are, uh, we are Ecuadorians, everybody, but there are some differences. So, for example, here in Loja, in the south of the country, uh, I think the, the culture, the people, uh, is more quiet. The, the, the security here, uh, for a long time, was not a problem. Because uh, in Loja, you were able to, to walk in the early in the morning and, and nothing happened. Um, here in Vitoamba, Malacatos, is the same. It's, it's very quiet, it's very safe. But I think in this moment, um, for consequences of the, uh, I think, the, the past administrations, maybe the, maybe the last administration, um, they avoid, for example, the, the jail management. So the people who the, is the, inside... The, pri the prisons. The prisons, yeah. yes. So uh, I think the, um, the people who is inside the, uh, a prison uh, was working inside to do bad things, no? Because they, they, uh, they were able to, to get the internet and, yeah. and, and good connections for, yeah. for his friends, for their friends uh, outside of the prison. Um, so, uh, but I think the, the things are changing right now because the new president is a, is a young president. Uh, they are, they are, uh, the government right now are, are doing some things better than the, the, the other governments in the past. I think in this moment, uh, it's necessary to, to believe in the, in the government because uh, they are working in, in the security system. Um, but it, this, is, this is just a moment in the history. I know that uh, all cities in the world um, are through the, the same thing with the security. I, I was I was talking with with with, uh, with a friend for from French. Um, he told me that in Paris is the same. Yeah. You 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 need to take care when you, when you are working. Yeah. 
And here in Ecuador, sometimes we have the idea that the, the, the first world, the Paris, Germany, United States, mm -hmm. they are always safe. No. Right. But it's, it's, no. it's not true. No. But I think uh, Ecuador in this moment is, um, is, um, is in a process. It's in a process. I think uh, the government uh, has to, to take uh, hand, uh, hard work. Um, hard hand for that kind of people. Because Ecuador yeah. always, um, I think Ecuador is, is, a, is a country uh, which always uh, has present the human rights for everybody. Right. But I think this is a, this is a mistake because the human rights uh, must be for good people, right. but not for bad people. Yeah. But here is uh, the opposite. Here uh, we have wrong human rights for for criminals, and, well, the, and the consequences uh, that we we are we are seeing in, in Ecuador is about that kind of work. You no, know? but I think uh, um, I hope that uh, that situation improve in yeah. a short time. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a process, a necessary process. Mm -hmm. um, Santiago, I appreciate again your, your time today. Is there anything that I didn't ask or anything that you want to talk about um, that I haven't covered before we wrap up? No, thank you, Jesse, for, for, for this interview and this opportunity to, to show uh, to to, to, to the people uh, who look uh, watch your, your YouTube channel. Um, something to do is if you want to if you want to live in a healthy place, in a good place with good people, with a good community. Uh, I know that um, uh, a lot of people who get the re retired in the United States or in Canada um, are searching for a place to, to live quiet. I think this is a good opportunity here in Ecuador and here in Vilcabamba. It's a, it's a good place. Um, and I think the, the, the security problems, the safety problems, we are we, we are working that in this moment, um, and, and the things in um, two or, or three weeks uh, are improving. Right. Very, uh, if you compare with, with the December or the beginning of the year, and in this moment there is a big difference because the government is not working right now. Yeah. Only uh, some I think sometimes we. Uh, we, we need some bad things happen to our life to, to get co corrections, mm -hmm. to get the, the right the way. And I think this is a, the moment that Ecuador is, is, uh, is passing in, yeah. in, in this year. Mm -hmm. I, I agree, and wise words as well. Um, Santiago, thank you. Um, folks who are watching, uh, please, again, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested um, and getting in touch with Santiago, uh, shoot, us, shoot us a note, info at abecuador.com. We'll get you guys in touch. And again, you know, he's, for us, you know, one of our highly recommended builders in this area, um, somebody that we trust inherently. We've had a lot of good experiences with over the years and somebody we would, you know, highly recommend and, and feel very good standing behind. So again, thanks guys for tuning in and we'll see you again soon. Okay, so we're here now outside of Santiago and Marta's office just here off the center square in Vilcabamba. Wanted to put a face to the name of the other side of the team, the architect side. Quiere decir algo, Marta? Sí. Eh, bueno, eh, muchas gracias a Bunda Living por esta entrevista. Eh, nosotros estamos abiertos a poderlos recibir aquí en nuestra oficina, hablar de nuestro trabajo, comentarles lo que hacemos y si ustedes gustan visitar algunas de nuestras obras. Bienvenidos a Vilcabamba.
If you're interested in real estate properties, all of our property videos will now be uploaded on a different channel. Please click the link in the description down below. Thank you.